that I would be able to get some work done today, and the answer is no! Gentlemen, ladies and gents, I have not been able to get anything done today except for this section right here of the document that I've been preparing. Now, the first thing, I'm doing proofreading right now, but I decided to add this section right here. Now, this is, I'm only going to read part of it to let you see where this is going. Hopefully, some of you will get this, and you'll understand how important this document is going to be, and it will be available for everybody for free. Won't be holding on to it, but our clients will be using it, okay? Especially our student loan people, but the document will be formatted to fit each situation. You won't have to do any adding to it. Some people are going to be adding kitchen sinks and all this other stuff to it, and that's on you. But it is unnecessary. It's not necessary for that to happen. Pay attention. Which makes the obligation, well, we're going to start from here because it makes it easier for you to understand the context. It's interesting. The United States Congress enacted a law stating that my promissory note when deposited and or tendered to the Federal Reserve Bank, the, hold on, local Federal Reserve Bank, through the local Federal Reserve agent, in exchange, and I got to get rid of local because it was right. Oh, come on now. See, it, it's spinning. Got me going in circles. All right. Through the local Federal Reserve agent, in exchange for Federal Reserve notes, are government obligations. Now, what I need to do before I go on, I need to watch this. Watch this word, government obligations. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. We got to go to references, and we got to go insert footnote. Mama, he had his foot in my note. Yeah, I couldn't sing for a lick because he did that. I don't understand that idiot. All right, now hold on. We will, that's a residential application. That ain't what I need. That's the Federal Reserve Act, okay? So what we're going to do is got to click there, got to click there. Uh-oh, I got to do the whole thing because this is what I want. This is what I want. All right, we're going to go there. Copy. Why are we doing the whole thing? Well, you're going to see in a second. Hold on now. Y'all just hold on. Because I'm coming. Hold on. If you ever lean on me. All right. We're going to get rid of that. Do that. We're going to get rid of this, do this. We got one more to get rid of. Do that right there. Go up here. Watch this. Of the Federal Reserve Act. Colon. I got to take all of, uh-oh, don't do that. Ladies and gentlemen, I was talking. Whew, and I almost lost everything. I got to take all of this. Watch, watch this. Watch it. Watch it. Uh oh, that that was it. That was the bottom. Go back up. Got to start from the bottom to make it to the top, and I got to do that right there. Okay, now I got to go copy, get rid of that. Well, hold on. Remember that one I put there? One eye jack. One more time. Watch this. Okay, not there. Come on now. Come on now. Where you at? That's number four. So, oh, because it was putting it someplace else. So now we got to go back to the paragraph I was working on. Hold on now. There we go, right there. That's it, right here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it wasn't going to let me. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this down to, we're going to do seven. Okay, enter. And then we're going to paste it. Let's see. 
I'm going to have to make it smaller. Oh, no, no, no. We can't do it that way. Ooh, that puts it in a frame. I don't want to frame it. That's what they do to black people. I don't want to do that. What? It's the truth. Okay. Get rid of you. Go back up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep it coming. Anyway, now, right here, we're going to bold it. And then we're going to make it smaller. Okay. There you go. Now, that put that right there. See, it brought it up there. The rest of it is here. So it ain't taking up three or four pages. Now, I could spread it out, but I don't feel like going through all that. Mm -mm. I'm just going to leave it like it is. Because what we did, and we're going to do this right here. S-E-E -E colon. Five, nine. S-T-A-T, two, three, seven. Section symbol. Okay, that's how we do that. We highlight it. And we're going to make that. No, we going to do that right there. There we go. Because we just showed them the act. Now, why, why did I put that there? Let's make sure you guys see why I did what I did. Because sometimes we're going to make it do what it do. Federal Reserve notes are government obligations. So that's where I show that once I tendered it to the Federal Reserve agent, the obligation was out of my hands. Now pay attention. Money is issued to the bank in return for government obligations. The money is issued to the banks in return for government obligations. Hold on. The money is issued to the bank in return for government obligations. Bills of exchange, drafts, notes, trade acceptances, and bankers acceptances. So the banks receive the Federal Reserve notes in return for taking my promissory note. Yes, Your Honor. You heard what I said. No, no, I, I don't care about your opinion. That's what the law says. That's what Congress intended. We can go according to congressional intent. It's right there. You can't make it say what it don't say. That's what it say. Shut up. I'm talking. Which makes the obligation, the so-called promise to pay, an obligation of the United States, ergo. There can be no application of a foreclosure proceeding, a repossession proceeding, or a lien on my wages via garnishment without a proper trial for which I have the right to have the matter determined by a competent jury and a competent jurisdiction under the competency of the aforementioned statute, acts, and laws presented herein, do I not? This constitutes a legal and constitutional question as well as, not as will as, W.E., a statutory challenge uh, must be decided. So, as well as, a statutory challenge must be decided, uh, uh, as, as, as well as a statutory challenge, and it says, and, must be decided as such. Wait, 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 wait. wait. What's the statutory, statutory challenge and the jurisdictional challenge? Because if they're going to see, wait a minute, hold on now. They're saying I owe some money. I'm saying, no, I don't. they say saying, yes, you do. And they're trying to foreclose on me. They're trying to evict me. 40-day uh, process, 90-day process. They're trying to go and do it speedily. Oh, hold on. <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, here's proof that I paid. And then here's the congressional record. And I'm bringing up the fact that I have a contract with government. And I can prove I have a contract with government. So y'all can't do anything. I have a right to a trial. Before you can seize my property, take my property, I have a right to due process. Due process is not your little stupid act of trying to kick me out of my house. That's what it's saying. Now, hold on. He said, wait, hold on a minute. Now, I know if I'm doing all these challenges, Senor, if I'm doing all of these challenges, this is, we have a legal conundrum. Conundrum? Conundrum. I want y'all to pay attention to the legal conundrum. Conundrum? Conundrum. With all constitutional challenges and statutory challenges, there must be a notification not of on the Attorney General. So if you make a challenge to the statute, a challenge to the Constitution, you have to notify the Attorney General for the state. Or if you're in federal court, the Attorney General for the United States. So here's the conundrum. In this instance, presumably, for the state and the United States, since this is a federally related matter involving diversity of citizenship 
and an amount that is greater than $75,000. The $75,000 figure is the amount that is the least that I will counter sue. I will be counter suing the opposing party for bringing any claim against my person in violation of the contract between myself and the government of the United States. As Evidenced by the March 10, 1933 Act and the aforementioned statute acts and presidential proclamations. I will need lawful direction from the court as to how to proceed under such circumstances as this appears to be a procedural matter and the correct course would have to be provided by the court in its proper jurisdictional capacity directly associated with the court's oath of office. You see, what I'm saying is I'm not asking you for legal advice, so don't you even begin to think I'm asking you for legal advice. I'm asking you about a procedural matter. We have a conundrum because if the attorney general is to be notified, then there's diversity of citizenship. I mean, this is a federal matter. Is it a federal matter or a state matter? What do we do here, Your Honor? Who do I notify? Is it the state attorney general or is it the federal attorney general? you got to tell me who to notify. I'll notify them. Hold on now. Y'all need y'all to understand. That's just one conundrum. We're going to use the word antecedent. We're going to be using some words here. Pay attention. A secondary and antecedent to the aforementioned, that means it preceded prior or directly as related to or associated with. So anyway, the aforementioned is that the Attorney General, upon notification, would be obligated to hold the representatives of the Federal Reserve Bank criminally liable for depriving me of the right that is secured by the Constitution and interfering with the obligation of contract between myself and the United States government. This is otherwise known as violation of the Civil Rights Act of 1866, which makes it a criminal violation of law for anyone acting under color and or authority of law to deprive anyone within the borders of the United States or within its territories and or its possessions or their magazines of any right secured them by the Constitution of the United States of America. That deprivation of rights, got to have my comma, haven't proofread it yet, while acting under color and authority of law is actionable, is why misperson of felony, a common law crime, remains on the books to the present day. And the reason why a mention of misperson of felony, because the aforementioned blocking of my access to government, to commerce, to contract, denying my person the right to property, the attempt to defraud my person and or my property with falsities, misrepresentation, reliance thereupon causing damage to myself, my property, my reputation, my economic standing, all for the unjust enrichment and profit and gain, all for, uh, we got to do this, gain, hold on. Of A C C U S E D. In addition, the accused, in addition, there is a failure to pay taxes by the financial institution. Initially, the claim was that the RIMIC or and the trading of the securities would assume responsibility for the payment of taxes. See, they said the, the RIMIC will take care of the taxes. Then the IRS issued a moratorium, an independent internal policy suspending any and all obligations for the payment of taxes by these financial institutions. Heaven knows why they would do such a thing. There is a possibility that after a proper investigation by a proper criminal investigator assigned by the court and or the Attorney General's office, we will find out. But be that as it may, Individuals would be required by law to order an investigation on the criminal activities associated with the instant matter, and I would be required to insist the Attorney General investigate such by utilizing this affidavit as a form of information of criminal activity and assault against my interests, property, person, and financial well-being, violating the Civil Rights Act of 1866 criminal provisions, which documents such violations carrying with it jail time at a minimum of one year and a fine of $10,000 or more. And if that is the case and judicial officers are involved, that would mean that there would be criminal information against a judicial officer which would prohibit them from remaining on the bench pending the outcome of the criminal information filing. Ladies and gentlemen, need y'all to pay attention. The CJD 
held that federal crimes with which Judge Bruno was charged related to his everyday duties as a judicial officer, and as a result, his continued presence on the bench pending the resolution of the charges would have a possible negative impact on the administration of justice and could possibly harm the public confidence in the judiciary. This is an understatement. Then somebody needs to get on top of that. Anyway, so, as you can see, I do not need legal advice. I need lawful direction as to how to proceed with the notification of the Attorney General based on the challenges aforementioned. And because this is the arena where such matters are decided, it is proper that I ask such questions within the arena via this petition, this arena via this petition, so as to proceed without being a burden on the court's resources, such as its time and workload. So I just need y'all to answer my question. Y'all y'all want me to proceed with this, then fine, but that leaves a couple of questions. Now, because I made these challenges, I'm going to have to notify the Attorney General. But wait, I can't notify the Attorney General because the Attorney General is going to have to bring charges against these people if I notify the Attorney General. Somebody's about to get in trouble. And which Attorney General do I notify? Do you see what I'm doing? It is 100% legal. I'm raising an issue without specifically raising the issue, letting them infer that there is an issue being raised, letting it be implied that I'm raising an issue without specifically raising the issue. I'm saying y'all need to think about this. That's all I'm doing. So, ladies and gentlemen, I will finish this up. I really do believe it is a piece of art. Oh, you were going to say that other word, huh? Your mama? Yeah, well, no, 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 you weren't. No, I wasn't thinking. I think you were going to say the other word. What, there's a hoe? No, why would you, why would you, why, why you gotta go there? Because you're interfering with my doing this video. I'm about to let these people go. You need to be quiet while I'm doing the video. I don't make no, why would, but you, you talk about my mama like she, 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 she a prostitute or something. Well, she had you, didn't she? That means she was tooting something. <laughs> okay, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to have a good day, a good night, good life, and this document should be up sometime tomorrow. I got documents I need to work on. I haven't been able to work on anything. I can't even finish proofreading this right now. Why? Because I'm just too tired. That's my fault, not your fault. I just went too long, did too much this weekend, and it was too much. And then I had some guy that I was doing a consult with who has been literally harassing me. He doesn't understand that I will eventually get a restraining order against him. He thinks he can call me whenever he feels like, especially when I have a moratorium and anybody calling me about a consult on a Sunday, unless I specifically give them permission to call me on a Sunday. I never did that. He has called me from several different numbers over the last four days. Several different numbers over the last four days. I'm being patient. I know a lot of you wouldn't have been as patient, but I'm being patient because there are some issues there. I'm not being patient because I'm afraid. I'm being patient because you got to be gentle. Okay. And he's trying way too hard. Okay, so that's taken something out of me. And ladies and gentlemen, this thing is 4,400 words so far. I wasn't trying to make it this long, but as you can see, three pages so far since I started today. Just adding this because I thought this was important enough to put in there. Because you know how they like to come at you and they like to make my people who come at them with the paperwork look stupid? Well, they can't. Look, it's a different strategy we're coming at them with. Documenting the record. Look, documentation is everything. So y'all, people get ready. Gotta go. Y'all take care, okay? 19 minutes. It ain't letting me shut you up.